Hi, Chris Tiller. Welcome back. Just wanted to give my quick rundown of why decreasing mortgage interest rates might not actually be a good thing. So if you think about why interest rates went up to begin with, it was around inflation. So the overall market, they increased the interest rates to try to bring inflation down because it was out of control, right? When prices go way too far up, the Fed has only two options that are two things that they analyze, right? They analyze unemployment and they analyze inflation. Those two things combined will impact what they do with inflation. I'm sorry, with interest rates. Because the inflation was out of control and unemployment was very, very low, they increased interest rates over time and very, very quickly. Historically, one of the fastest um, increases over, uh, over time we've ever seen. Why that isn't a good thing. So everyone's saying we really need interest rates to come down. We really need interest rates to come down. I agree with you. I think it would be super helpful for the market. Obviously, I'm in real estate, so it would benefit me greatly. Here's why it's not necessarily a good thing. So if we increase interest rates to offset um, inflation, the only reason that we would decrease interest rates from a Fed's perspective is if we have two things, inflation is back or unemployment is high. So when you're asking for higher inter or low interest rates to be lowered, you are asking for the cause of that is going to be higher unemployment or higher inflation. I don't think any of us want that. So it's a weird offset, right? The only reason inflation, I'm sorry, interest rates are going to come down is if people are losing their jobs or if eggs go back to $12 a dozen. So it's this weird you know, balancing act of which one do you want? Um, do you want interest rates to be normalized over time, us to deal through the pain of the next two years of kind of a flat interest rate thing where uh, values start to trickle back up to um, where people are earning and can purchase homes again? Or do you want to drive interest rates down, but you're paying you know, $6 a gallon for gas and we have a 8% unemployment, unemployment rate. It's, it's definitely a double-edged sword. So be careful what you ask for. Um, lower interest rates may not be a good idea um, or a good thing that we have to see um, because what you have to do in order to get there is definitely not good for the overall market and normal people buying things every day. So that's my take on why lower interest rates might not be a great idea.